Today, I am going to talk about every product, every interval, or EPEX for short. EPEX is the frequency with which different part numbers are produced in a production process or system. Basically, it's the time it takes to produce every part in the process. So, if a machine is changed over in a sequence so that every part number assigned to it is produced every three days, then EPEX is three days. Now, why is EPEX important? Well, it's good to have a small EPEX because it helps produce small lots of each part number and minimize inventories in the system. This means you'll have less waste and more efficiency in the production process. However, a machine's EPEX will depend on changeover times and the number of part numbers assigned to the machine. So, a machine with long changeovers and large minimum batch sizes Running many part numbers will inevitably have a large EPEX unless change over times or the number of part numbers can be reduced. The concept of EPEX is related to the concept of production leveling and one-piece flow. Calculating and scheduling production with the EPEX principle must help the organization understand what impedes an EPEX with a decreasing interval. Once the organization understands what the obstacle is, it should develop an improvement plan to improve EPEX and thus be able to produce in a leveled manner and strive for a one-piece flow. So, to summarize, EPEX is an essential factor in lean manufacturing as it helps to minimize inventories and waste. It's important to keep EPEX as small as possible, but this will depend on the change over times and the number of part numbers assigned to the machine. Thank you for watching, you will find more details in the description.